Hi YouTube, H. Hey, Adams here. So in today's video I'm going to do a DIY black necklace. Yep. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use and get into the video. Right guys, so the materials I'm going to use in the video is this black bow leather fabric and some black stick-on gems in different sizes. Yeah, I didn't know which ones I wanted so I just got all three of them. They're only €1.50 each. Yeah, in a shop called McAvoy's. Yep, and some black twine string. And um, some needle and thread. And I've got some black seed beads. Yeah, I think they're the size of a seed. I think that's why they call them that. And then some two different shapes black sequins. So square sequins and cup sequins. I got this little um, black clip thingy, which I'll, I'm hoping to use for the closure of the necklace. Yeah, oops. <laughs> yeah, and then I've used some darning needles, needle threader, and scissors. And I might end up using a glue gun, which I have that heating up at the minute. Yeah. Right, guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, guys. So... I'm going to start off by cutting out the shape of the of this of um, some of this faux leather fabric into the shape that I want for the end of the necklace. Yep. Right guys, so I cut off a small piece here which I'm going to cut this into a shape of like a semicircle or a half moon or something. Yep. Right guys, so this is the shape that I went for. Yep. Right guys, so I'm going to move on and cut out two pieces of string for each side of the semicircle. Right guys, so now that I have two pieces of string cut out, I'm going to use a darning needle and sew, uh, sew it through and tie it through, yeah, on each side. Right guys, so I have each string tied to each side. Yeah, here's the back of it. Yeah, just make sure that these little loose strings are facing the inside and not popping out on the, on the outside. Yeah, so moving on, I'm going to use the darning needle again and somehow get each of these pieces on each end of this of each string yeah guys so here's what i did so far so i just put this, the darn needle through this bit and i'm going to pull it through the hole of the clip thing actually guys don't use the darning needle because um it wouldn't go through the thing, it was too thick. So just basically pinch the end of the string and push it through. Yeah. Okay, so just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Actually guys, the darn needle went through the other piece, but it wouldn't go through this piece. But yeah, if that piece is it, you're able to, but this piece you can't, you have to push it through. Okay guys, once you have them through, tie a knot. Okay guys, now I have them both tied. Yeah, you can cut the strings off, you can cut the extra, extra strings off if you, want, if you want, but I personally don't want to. Yeah. Right guys, so moving on, I'm going to get started on decorating it. So I'm going to start off with one of these, one of these big black gems for the centre of the necklace. Yeah, and despite them being stick-ons, I'm going to probably use my glue gun just to make sure it never comes off. Well, never as possible. <laughs> right guys, so I just added the big um, black gem in the middle as much as I could. Not exactly in the middle, but yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so moving on, I'm going to add two of these slightly smaller ones on the edge of the necklace, using the glue gun again. Even though they're already stick-ons, but you know, make sure they don't fall off. Right guys, so I'm now going to add four of these smaller black gems from like like a north, east, west and, west and south kind of thing around the big one. Yeah, I'm going to do that and see how it goes. Okay guys, so moving on, I'm going to use four of these square shaped sequins and I'm going to put them in the gaps between these circular diamonds. Yeah, yeah I'll be sewing them in by the way. Okay guys, now moving on, I'm going to use eight of these little circular shaped sequins and sew them 
in the shape of a circle around this. Yeah. Right guys, so now that I have this part done, I'm going to move on and sew a load of these little seed beads around the edges of the necklace or the semicircle part. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that and bear it back with you. Right guys, so I finished doing the beading. Oh sorry, I got glue on my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I finished doing the beading around the edges. Yeah, the best I could do. <laughs> it's quite hard to sew on, but I did my best. Yeah, I love how it looks so far. Yeah. So, moving on, I'm going to add two more of each of these black gems to the corner. Yeah, so one here and there. The same on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do, do that. Amber, back with you. Right guys, so I have that part done. Yep. Yeah. So moving on, I'm going to add five more sequins on each side of the necklace. Yep. Yeah. Okay guys, and I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on and be right back with you. Right guys, so here's what it looks like on. Yes, it's nice and high as I was hoping it'll be. Yes, and I think it'll look very nice with like, say, a sleeveless top. Or a nice uh, crew, crew t-shirt or something, it'll be nice. Yeah. Love how it turned out. Could have had the, the big um, gem in the in the more in the middle, but overall, I love how it turned out. And I can't wait to start wearing it. Thanks for watching this video, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned to more videos on the way. Talk to you soon. Bye!